you guys so welcome back to my youtube channel today i am in my kitchen <laughs> um okay so the reason why i'm here first of all i am so sorry it's been so long since i've recorded anything and the funny part is that last weekend i actually wanted to record something and my camera gave me my, my memory card in the camera it gave me memory card error like every two minutes and I was so so pissed off with it <laughs> pardon my French but yes I am back and uh, I know you guys are looking uh, I know I got a lot of requests to um, do a video for how I make my own makeup um, specifically a foundation and if I've told you guys from before, I struggle with a lot of acne problems and regardless of whatever foundation I would try, it would just constantly make me break out. So I just researched on how I can make my own foundation. That way at least it would get rid of the acne symptoms and it did. I, I experimented and I made my own foundation and that's what I've been using since then. Um, I still use a concealer and I use it in the spots where I get a bit of dark pigmentation just so that I can cover it. But the rest of the areas like my forehead, my cheek, um, everywhere else I would use that foundation that I make. So I'm gonna start off this uh, tutorial and uh, stay tuned with me just to find out what exactly I use and we'll just go from there. Okay. So for the most part what I really do is I use four ingredients primarily. So the first one is the zinc oxide powder. Um, this one is a non-nano so just make sure that when you guys buy it make sure that it's non-nano. Non-nano really means that it's good for skin and it's a cosmetic grade just because you don't want to buy something that's not cosmetic grade um, and I bought it for that the second thing that I go for is the iron oxide brown now the same thing goes with this too just make sure that you guys buy it um, cosmetic grade and just make sure that you guys find the best deal possible um, uh, so just make sure you know buy it wherever it's cheaper eBay or Amazon and the same with iron oxide red the reason why I put the iron oxide red along with those pigments is compared to those two pigments the one that I showed you right now um, the iron oxide it really creates warmth in the skin or it creates warmth in the product that you make so just make sure that you know when you do use this you use only a tiny bit of it just because the first time when I made a foundation it was it was really um, it was really dark and last but not the least I use my favorite moisturizer Cetaphil is definitely one of my favorite moisturizers that I've ever used um, along with the first aid beauty that I used in my previous tutorials I think Cetaphil is more affordable and it has the same ingredients. One more important thing that I do use, which is extremely necessary for making your foundation, is the um, is a precision balance. Just make sure that you guys, when you, whenever you guys are making a product, make sure you have a precision balance with you, and uh, just use that as a measurement. Just use that to measure something. Actually, um, so I'm just gonna take a container. You guys can take anything. I usually prefer something that's dry, first of all. So I just put it on and then I just equalize it and the first step is to put zinc oxide. Zinc oxide, I usually put 10 grams of zinc oxide. Um, so this is what Another thing to note is the last time that I was making this foundation, the foundation turned out to be a bit lighter um, and a bit pink toned. And if you are very yellow toned, just make sure that you put more yellow pigment. Um, so I usually measure that much and it works well with my skin. So measuring that, it's about 
it's about one gram. So just make sure that you guys put one gram of yellow iron oxide. Another thing that I do put is brown iron oxide. Since I am a bit deep toned, I will put brown iron oxide. Just be very careful with the dark pigments just because they can really change the color of your foundation. So just make sure when you put these dark pigments, just put a little bit just so that, you know, like very, very little, just so that you can, you know, add the, the color later if you require more. Make sure that you're very, very careful with the, with the pigmentation of it because as it is very, very pigmented, it can make your foundation darker. So the next make step sure. for you guys is to transfer everything in a coffee blender. Um, I think coffee blender works the best for me just because you know it can blend all the minerals together. Um, so just give me one second, I'll blend it and I'll be right back with you guys. See how pigmented that is? And that is the reason and why. And then depending upon if you want more so a concealer consistency, put lesser moisturizing lotion in it. And if you want it a bit more runny and a bit more foundation-like, just put, whoa, that's too much, I think. I, I guess this should be enough. Um, I'm just gonna mix the ingredients here. It's almost like doing a cooking video, you know? Alright, so this is our final product. Um, I hope you guys can see it. This is our final product. I wish I had better lighting, you know, in order to show you guys. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually just show you what the finished product looks like on my skin. So I'm just going to demonstrate on this part just so that you guys can see. Don't think I'm using any other foundation because I'm just using the foundation from the spoon. The spoon. This spoon right here. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking that much. It might be too much, but I guess we're in it, so might as well just go all the way. Uh, and I'm just going to like blend it. I know like fingers are probably not the most easiest way of blending something, but... touch with like my skin has healed so much from before so yeah this is my entire tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial I know it has been so long since I've been to the YouTube channel so many things have changed and um, I hope to see you guys the next time let me know if you guys have any other video requests I would love to do it for you guys and We'll see you later. Bye. covers all of the pigmentation on the skin, but it doesn't make your skin look shaky and it doesn't make your skin look